We're going to start with the absolute easiest debugging technique, which is a print function. This prints a message into the Xcode debug console that can say anything you want, because users won't see it in the UI. The scattershot approach to bug fixing is to litter your code with calls to print, then follow the messages to see what's going on. You'll meet lots of people telling you how bad this is, but the truth is, it's the debugging method everyone starts with. It's easy, it's natural, and it often gives you enough information to solve your problem. Use it with Swift string interpolation to see the contents of your variables when your app is running. We've used print several times already, always in its most basic form. I'll open viewcontrol.swift, hide this bar on the right, and write some print code. We'll say print, I'm inside the view did load method. Just like that. By adding calls like that to your various methods, you can see exactly how your program flowed. However, print is actually a bit more complicated behind the scenes. For example, you can actually pass it lots of values at the same time and it'll print them all. You can say print one, two, three, four, five, for example, and they'll all get printed out. This is of course a variadic function, a function that accepts any number of parameters. And it's something we looked at while you were learning the fundamentals of Swift. Here though, it's worth adding that print's variadic nature becomes much more useful when it uses optional extra parameters, separator and terminator. The first of these, separator, lets you provide a string that should be placed between every item in the print call. For example, we might say one, two, three, four, five with separator of dash. If I run that code back now, we should see one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five because a separator parameter is used to split up each item passed into print. Boom, there we go, 1-2-2-4-5. The second optional parameter, terminator, is what should be placed after the final item. It's backslash n by default, which you should remember means line break. If you don't want print to insert line break after each call, just write this. I'll say, print some message, with a terminator of an empty string, so no line break. Both separator and terminator are optional, so you can specify either of them or both of them.